Hey everyone, uh, it's Miss Garcia. Today I just wanted to provide a quick run through on how to access your assignment today and also how to use the draw tools uh, within OneNote Classroom Notebook for your annotations. So first things first, you're gonna access your Schoology and you're gonna find your class. So for me, I'm gonna go right here to my class. And then I'm gonna scroll down to where it says OneNote Class Notebook. I'm gonna click sign in. Now my information is saved because this is my computer. However, yours might just ask for you to input your email address and your password. It is the same information as if you were using Schoology. All right. So then it's gonna take you here. It's very important that when you get to this page, you choose open in OneNote online because I'm not sure if all of your devices have OneNote. Um, this computer does, but again, always click open in OneNote online. Once it opens, you're gonna see welcome to the class notebook. You're gonna find your name. Now, some, some students will find their document under homework. Others will find it under practice. If you are in Ms. Garcia's class, it will be under practice. Other teachers have put it under homework. So check both places just to make sure. So for me, I'm just gonna show you a document for practice. But again, you're gonna look for the student practice annotations and grammar in your one notebook, okay? So here's the practice. Here is some text, right? This is just random text but I need to annotate it. So after I read it the first time, I'm gonna pull out my guides and I'm going to go ahead and follow the step-by-step -step process of annotating. To do that, I'm gonna go right here to draw. I'm gonna click it. And now I have all these options. So this option right here is to select objects or type text. So let's say I put it here. I can type text just by double clicking. This is, this is for the margins. So this is where you can definitely put your little notes off to the side. You can change the aspects of it, the size, the type of text it is. You can make it bold. You can make it a different color so it stands out. So whatever is easiest for you, all right? And you can also adjust your text box. Uh, this one doesn't seem like, there we go. We can adjust it to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, whatever is easier for you. All right, but remember that in annotations, it's just not about writing words in the margins. You want to make some connections. And so what you can also do is you can use a pen and say, okay, well, I want it to be here. So let me select the color. There we go. There we go, with my arrows. Again, I can choose whatever color I want. I can also change the thickness of it. You can also highlight. So let's say your assignment is gonna have some things that are required to be highlighted, and you're just gonna go ahead and highlight, okay? So that's pretty much how you're gonna use it. You can change the thickness again. Let's say you make a mistake, you can always erase it using the eraser. So again, this is how you write your text. Click, double click, and then type. This is your eraser. This is your pen, so where you can draw connections. And it does take a moment, so don't feel bad if it's lagging a little bit. You can change the colors and then you can highlight. And I have specific colors that I want you to use when you're doing your highlighting, so be very uh, sure of your highlighting colors. Now, is it gonna be the prettiest? No, but it's still gonna work, okay? So, and you can also change your colors here. And again, your thickness here. So if you have any questions, please just let me know. But it's pretty much that simple. And when you're done, you'll just close it out. 
and I'll be able to see all the work that you've done.